lay in the snow, the helicopters will find us very quickly. <laughs> I, uh, I, I know you guys have the mountains and they're beautiful, they're gorgeous, right? Some of you don't know um, that you can go over them and leave this area. You guys know that? <laughs> You know you don't have to stay here. <laughs> well, there's Indians in the mountains, Jason. We don't. <laughs> Do you know the way? <laughs> so, uh, <laughs> you guys get winter here too. You'll get it. You'll get it pretty soon, like tomorrow, maybe. <laughs> Black people, we don't like the winter. Nope. Because you can see us. <laughs> Think about it. Black people will never get caught in a blizzard. You ever hear that happen to people? They get trapped in their cars somewhere. It's usually you white people. You're out driving somewhere where you don't belong. Someone in your car goes, we should take a shortcut through the mountains. A week later, you're eating one another. That'll never happen to black people. We'll get out of our car, take all of our clothes off, lay in the snow. The helicopters will find us very quickly. There they are. They look like Rolos. There's more, strap in. Because I know when I walked up to you, some of you were like, Jason, what are you? You're kind of a beige frosty. <laughs> well, I'm biracial. My mom was white and my dad was black. I had no clue what I was growing up. Wouldn't you agree, kids? Kids don't know, right? Wouldn't you agree? Kids have no clue what they are. We teach them what they are. I had no clue what I was until one night in the playground I found out what I was. I was playing with five of my white friends. This kid walked on their playground and yelled out the N-word and I was like, WHERE?! <laughs> they are not allowed in this neighborhood! You should have seen my five white friends. They were just like, uh, are you gonna tell them? <laughs> I had to go home and ask my mom, the woman who carried me for nine months, if I was a different race than what I thought I was. Mom, am I black? <laughs> what? <laughs> I don't want to learn how to rap. That poor woman from that point on could not get me to drink a drop of white milk. And I was like, burn my toast, woman, I'm black! <laughs> I was doing that from that point on in my underwear always. Anything she would say, come to dinner. No, black people don't eat. I, I hate racism because they hate you for what you are, and that's stupid because none of us in this room chose what we are, right? Yeah. It's not a, uh, it's not a rally. Calm down there, sir. <laughs> Although, if we were going to have a rally, I'd want you to head it up. <laughs> I, uh, I hate racism. I hate racism for one reason only, because they hate you for what you are, and that's stupid because none of us in this room chose what we are, right? Before I was born, I was not staying in line somewhere going, I am not staying in this white line. It's too long! <laughs> what? I don't 
character getting Yeti coolers or not. <laughs> what? No, I'm not getting a Native American line. Everybody keeps taking all their stuff. <laughs> like, what? You guys want to continue this party, go out there in the Provo area, find yourself an Asian man, and try to get him to say the word hubba bubba. The cat! <laughs> Ask him, excuse me, sir, you have any hubba bubba? He'll go, oh no, I'm all out of hubba A lot of you will not try that, but there will be one person in this room. There's gonna be at a Starbucks just screaming at some poor age. Say it! Say it! Poor guys are like, I don't. What do you want? I don't know what you want. I uh. I hate going in the bathrooms. I think guys would agree. We don't like going to the bathrooms. It's just weird for us. You ladies love going to the bathrooms. They put all kinds of stuff in there for you. Trees. <laughs> candles. A bench. <laughs> what in God's name would you need a bench in a guy's bathroom for? Levi's. <laughs> we don't need this. Uh, I'll tell you one another thing that I love about, uh, first of all, when you go in these bathrooms days, they will make the smartest person look like a complete moron trying to get the water on. There is one thing I love about bathrooms is the only thing I can uh, find that I love about public bathrooms is uh, foam soap. <gasps> Don't you love the foam soap? <laughs> you never know where you're gonna get it. It's always a surprise, like a present from a stranger. By the time guys are walking in, I got big Mickey Mouse hands. <laughs> oh, can someone help me with my zipper? <laughs> I have a beautiful wife. I am uh, married. She's my best friend. Um, I honestly feel, I don't want to get too corny here, that we're going to probably take our last breaths together on this earth. I really feel that. Oh, no, no, it's not because of what you think. It's because we both have an anger problem where we're going to kill each other at the same time. No, I love my wife. She is, uh, she's awesome. Uh, I have a woman I got from a Latin country. She's from Honduras. Yeah. And uh, wouldn't you think if you get a woman from Honduras, she'd uh, by default know how to dance? Yeah, that would just come with it, right? Like you, you, you buy a refrigerator, it comes with a door. Yeah. <laughs> Nobody buys a refrigerator with no door, right? Well, I bought a, I bought a, I didn't buy a Latin woman. That <laughs> did not come out right. Let's, let's start over. <laughs> What I'm trying to say is 13 years in, I realized my woman, who is authentically Latin, like she comes from a Central America, cannot dance. 
I have a defective, broken Latin woman. I'll give you an idea of what she looks like when she dances. You know those things they blow up on Saturdays in front of car lots? To get you to come in and buy a car? People are tapping me on the dance floor. Yeah, you know, you should put something in her mouth. She's gonna bite her tongue off. <laughs> we have a beautiful little 16-month-old baby girl at home. Yeah, oh no, she's not mine. She's just at mine. No, she's mine. <laughs> it's comedy night, yay! <laughs> No, she's, I'm in love all over again. She's six, she's uh, 16 months and uh, her name is Denali. Yeah, uh, beautiful name. And uh, this is the only thing I can tell you about Denali. Um, when you take her clothes off to dress her or change her, she loses her mind and she just starts screaming at the top of her lungs. Uh, she kicks her legs, just gets very violent. And then she goes number two. <laughs> We've taken her back to the doctors, and they're like, well, it's not normal, but it's not abnormal. Please take her home. <laughs> but as her father, I hope this continues well into her 30s. <laughs> this little punk's gonna come to my door. Hey, Mr. Russell! You want me to have your daughter in by nine? Nope. You can keep her all, all night, son. <laughs> you bring her back when you think she's ready to come back. <laughs> She'll let you know. <laughs> I have an older son, too. Uh, I live in Texas. He won a car from his high school for perfect attendance. Do they give your kids cars here for any type of a... Yeah, well, what? <laughs> I would have lived at my school if <laughs> at the end of that race would have been a car. So I was on the road. This is what happened. They picked 10 kids. Anybody with perfect attendance could have gotten in the, uh, you know, the ball. So they picked 10 kids. 10 kids next day go on the lawn and try to start the car. Two news channels were on the lawn, whole school watching these kids' keys try to start the car. My kids' keys started the car, 2000 Camaro. Yeah. Uh, the video came back uh, after you know I got off the road and uh, I'm gonna show you what my son did when his keys started the car. This is exactly what he did. This is what I saw on the video. His key starts the car, he gets out of it, he's like, I was like, uh, son, why didn't they show the video where you running around? Why didn't they send this? This exact conversation I had with him, he goes, I wasn't running around. I go, what do you mean you weren't running around? He goes, well, dad, I knew the other nine people that weren't gonna win the car were gonna get a $100 Best Buy gift card. <laughs> okay, he goes, well, when my keys started a car in my mind, I was like, wait a minute, I'm not getting a $100 Best Buy gift card. <laughs> I said, son, what? You won the car. You, he goes, I know, but I already had all my games picked out. <laughs> That's our generation, though. That's our generation. I am fearful that I'm going to walk into my nine-year-old's room and I'm going to say, hey, son, let's go to Six Flags. He's going to be like, dad, I don't go to Six Flags. I watch these two kids on YouTube. They go to Six Flags. And... <laughs> Somehow it's our fault. I don't know how, but it's our fault. Hey, uh, I am so glad that nobody's wearing a vest in here tonight. Yeah. We're not talking like ladies, you might wear a vest to accentuate your outfit. No. We're talking like guys, you gotta go to a camping store and buy, it's got duck, duck feathers in it. Even when my mom put a vest on me when I was younger, I was like, well, I guess we don't have that much money. <laughs> When do we get the rest of the jacket, lady, on your tax check? 
My elbows are cold! <laughs> I don't know how a grown man goes to buy that piece of clothing. A grown man going to buy a vest. Hey, how you doing? You got something in here to keep me kinda warm? <laughs> I don't know how that same man gets ready to go tonight. Hey, uh, baby, is it cold out? All right, bring me my life jacket. <laughs> you know what I believe? I believe other kids in other countries or other people are walking around with our sleeves. These poor kids in Africa, it's 110 degrees, they're out there. <sighs> what kind of jacket is this? <laughs> My elbows are hot. <laughs> you guys are cool. You guys have come for comedy. I just found out before the show there was no alcohol. And then I was I asked, the, I was like, well, what are, they, what are you guys giving? They're like, we got candy. <laughs> <laughs> that is the coolest comedy club on the planet. Are you kidding me? <laughs> nobody, nobody is gonna get up and be rowdy. Maybe on a sugar high, maybe this guy, he's got the diabetes, stay away from the bar, sir. This guy's 5,000 years old. I don't know if you guys can see him, but... It might be George Washington's brother. I don't know. My gold. Stop staring. <laughs> I, uh... <laughs> Listen, there's a group of men out there. Could be women, too. There's a whole society. They are dedicated to finding Bigfoot. Now listen! I don't care if you think Bigfoot is real. That's not what I'm... My thing is, there's other things you people could devote your time to. Solve other mysteries on the planet if you got that much time waiting for a big hairy man to walk past you. Like, come to our house. Come to our house. Solve some mysteries in our house. Like, find the other sock. Where is it? Find the lids to my Tupperware! <laughs> Tell me why nobody cares that Kanye West is hoarding nuts in his cheeks. <laughs> I love that. You're like, what? oh yeah. Tell me why you white people don't get mad with mimes put on whiteface. <laughs> so I... <laughs> you can keep laughing, that was funny. <laughs> I, uh... You get to take a lot of trains and planes and automobiles, and uh, I gotta tell you the story. Once I uh, called this taxi and this guy come he shows up in a van, right? And uh, <clears throat> now, I must preface the story by telling you he's one of the sweetest, kindest, gentlest men I've ever met in my life. He's East Indian. Um, when, I, when I go on the road, I pack like I don't have a home to come back to. Like, my luggage is very heavy, right? And uh, he gets out of the van, and he's got one arm. He would not let me touch the luggage, right? He's just picking it up, and he throws it in. And uh, we start talking. Unbelievably sweet, kind gentleman. Most amazing stories, right? So I needed to go to the airport. I remember, he's got one arm. And uh, we're on the freeway, we're deep in conversation. I notice, you know how you notice things and when you notice them? But I had been going on for maybe a couple minutes, kept hearing this. So then when I kind of paid attention to what it was, I realized that he's swerving off of his lane and hitting the little wake up strips, you know what those are? Not you, non-drinkers, you know what I'm talking about. They're not made for us. They're made for, <laughs> They're made for the bad ones out there. <laughs> not us. 
but he's swerving. Now, I look back over at him, and I notice this whole time, he's, he's got the unfinished arm on the wheel. <laughs> this room, this side did not like that. You people. <laughs> and he's using the finished arm just for gesturing. <laughs> unfinished arm on the wheel is doing this. That's why I went <laughs> So we go to what should be the airport. It's not. He's, he's made a mistake and take me to the bus station. So now, and he just is, he's like, oh, so Paul. Oh my God, I never mess a mech like this in 25 years. I don't know why. Don't worry, I get you there. You don't pay for the fare. Now, we're back on the freeway, driving even faster. <laughs> <laughs> now I'm getting mad. I'm getting seriously angry in my mind because I can't tell. Go there with me. Can you tell a grown man to, to put the finished arm on the wheel? You can't. <laughs> There's no way you can do that. I'm getting angry. I'm just like, oh, I hope we flip over. We're in the ditch. <laughs> the jaws of life is going to suck us out of this van. Fire department, the sheriff's going to get us back up in the freeway. They're going to be like, hey, what happened here? <laughs> what happened? He wouldn't put the gripper on the wheel. <laughs> They're like, no, that's. We're still friends to this day, and he loves it when I, uh, so he's gonna love seeing this special, because he's like, I told you, ah, it was a fun day. movies. I'm a huge fan of movies. Uh, I was in a movie a couple weeks ago. I got stuck behind a kid that wouldn't stop kicking my seat. That ever happened to you? I, uh, I'm going to apologize to all your parents right now because I know I shouldn't have done what I did. But I snapped. Halfway through the movie, I just, I turned around, I grabbed this kid's leg. I'm like, get off! No, get off, you little punk! <laughs> of course, his mother sees this. She starts pounding on my hair. I'm pulling her hair. I'm like, you ignorant woman! We're not a ranger kid! <laughs> then I hear this woman yell out, Jason! Then I realize I was at the drive-in in my own car. <laughs> Folks, that is all my time. My name is Jason Wendy's with alligator. We're the alligator boys now.